Hey everybody, it's me again. Um, I haven't updated in a few days, so I thought I would. Um, a lot has actually happened in the last few days. Um, none of which are really good, but I mean, that's life. Um, with me personally, I went to my doctor's office. Um, my breathing level was the same, which was good. Um, so we got that done and out of the way. And surprisingly, I was sent home because I told you guys last update that I probably want to be sent home. So uh, I was pretty shocked, I guess, <laughs> when. Um, I was at home. Um, I started using um, hypertonic saline solution. That's new, so I'm on that. I'm on Holistin, Colmazyme, and Albuterol in my vest. Um, the saline solution, uh, it kind of fills when I'm done with it. it kind of feels like I swallowed the ocean. That's how salty it is. And I'm sure other CF people out there know that as well. But it is salty as heck. Um, but I mean, if it does a trick, it does a trick, right? Um, I've also started having some more of my seizures. So, um, that is a negative. It almost seems like when I get something good, I get something bad too. So with the whole I get to go home thing, I traded that in for my seizures and um, I've also been having a problem with my heart. Um, the doctor said it's the most common um, thing that happens in young people. So, I mean, I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, but uh, it, it will start to speed up out of nowhere really fast. And as it slows down, I pass out. And um, so that's a negative. So this Wednesday, I am going to see a heart specialist. I've been told from my CF doctor, they did an EKG and everything came out normal, but um, he still wants me to see a heart specialist. I've been told that um, it could be uh, cured, for lack of a better word, um, by a pill usually, but sometimes they do have to operate, which is scary as hell and it's made me rethink things because I, I always told myself if I had to get a transplant, a lung transplant, I don't know what I would do. And hopefully this heart thing, whatever it is, is curable by a pill because now then I have to sit down and think about heart surgery. So I mean and it's scary because your heart and your lungs are two very, very important organs in your body. And I'm left here hoping for the best, but preparing myself for the worst. Um, yesterday, I ended up going to the hospital because of my heart. Um, when I got there, it was beating 138 um, beats a minute, which is Hi. Um, they gave me some meds, and uh, they did a chest X-ray. Turns out I have pneumonia in both my lungs. So uh, Brad is out getting my medicine, so that hopefully I um, will get better in time. But I am also on the waiting list to go into the hospital. And uh, 
if it gets worse, I'm told to just go to the hospital and get, in, get admitted pretty much. So uh, that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, next weekend is um, the cystic fibrosis walk, which I'm super stoked about. Um, we had shirts made because my friend Kevin passed away this year from, well, it, I, like, it was a lung transplant, but the lungs were excellent. It's just, there were other complications. So, uh, every year I walk in remembrance of somebody. So this year I'm walking in remembrance of Kevin. And, um, sorry. <laughs> um, as I told you guys a few weeks ago that my friend Daniele passed away from CF. He was on the lung transplant list. And he waited for something that never came. But a few days ago, I found out that one of my other close friends passed away from the Hadzia. I've lost three people that I was really close to. In a matter of six months. That's why we have to find a cure. Too many people are passing away. Too many. So I've been dealing with that. It's never easy losing somebody, but you care for a whole bunch. But it's even harder when um, when when they pass away from something that you have, because it makes it that more real. Like we all know, we know the statistics, we know the drill, but still, like. You can't prepare yourself when something like this happens. I hope that I find a, that they find a cure in my lifetime. All together, in the past maybe two years, I have had eight friends with cystic fibrosis that passed away. That's, that's a lot, that's a big number. I just have to keep fighting for them and for myself because I, we all have to keep fighting because um, I 
every day is another day that we get to wake up and breathe. Maybe not breathe perfectly normal, but breathe. And um, that alone I'm very grateful for. Feels like past few months, the wind has been knocked out of me, completely knocked out of me. And like I guess, it, I, death is never easy, but I guess like if you're in a situation where you know it's happening it's you have a lot more time to prepare yourself but to wake up and then just be gone it's, it is very hard to deal with up here in my head and my heart but um I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on the past few days. Um, hopefully, when I do get admitted, it's a short stay. Last time it was seven weeks, so I mean, I guess I don't even know what a short stay is anymore. <laughs> But, I'm trying to stay positive, and if anybody has any words of advice, I would gladly accept them. <laughs> but, for now I just have to put my faith in God and... Hope for the best. Yeah, sucks. Sucks a whole bunch. But most of you guys already know that. You can either fight it or you can give in. I don't plan on giving in. I'm a fighter. And I hope that most of you guys are fighters too. But, uh, just to update remember, May is Cystic Fibrosis Month, so please educate yourself as much as you can. So, um, I love you all and I will update soon. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye guys.